Despite of the old trains of parliament and president, current government is continuing its work. But now, prime minister and his team have immunity and they cannot be fired till the autumn. Moreover, failed voting and the government resignation provoked the split in coalition and Ukraine could happen in political crisis. More details around the situation watching the following story. On 16th of February, Ukrainian parliament listened the report of government about results of its work. It was expected that after the speech of government members, current cabinet of ministers will be fired. But it was not only a lack of votes for government's resignation, but also cabinet of ministers had got the immunity, and as a result, the question about its resignation cannot be discussed till the autumn. MPs gathered signatures for resignation of government just during the speech of Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk. Moreover, on the eve, President of Ukraine Petro Poroshenko asked Arseniy Yatsenyuk to hand in resignation. But Prime Minister says that there is a coalition government, so the responsibility for changes in the country is joint. We have to understand that we absolutely admit that there is some dissatisfaction with government, parliament and all other institutions of Ukrainian authorities. But I encourage you, independently from your decision, we have no right to stop. We made the base of new Ukraine, let's build new Ukrainian house, new European Ukraine, which these people deserve. We will accept every decision of this parliament. I ask parliament, president and responsible political class to move further by reforms way. This is the only way for our country. Незалежно від цього рішення, я прошу парламент, президента і відповідальний політичний клас рухатись далі шляхом реформ. Це єдино правильний рецепт. Leader of presidential faction states that current government does not execute its responsibilities to Ukrainian people and does nothing to speed up reforms in Ukraine. Nothing changes in the country. People see that you do not screw up your pockets. You move nothing concerning reforms in the country. Nevertheless, Prime Minister encourages MPs to vote for resignation of government and says that he is ready to pass his position to those who consider himself more professional. So there were two votings in Parliament. MPs admitted work of government as not sufficient, but for firing of Cabinet of Ministers, Ukrainian Parliament had a lack of votes. After the unsuccessful try to fire Prime Minister and his team, members of Ukrainian Parliament were trying to find out how such a situation happened, because the most unexpected votes was held exactly by pro-presidential faction. Also, resignation of government did not get votes of opposition bloc and ex-representatives of Party of Regions, which is connected with Yanukovych regime. It is obvious that coalition experienced disunity. Leader of Batkivshina faction has already said that it leaves coalition. Коаліції демократичних сил про європейської коаліції в цьому парламенті ніколи не існувало. Coalition of democratic forces and pro-Ukrainian coalition never existed in this parliament. It was clannish, shadow, backstage coalition. But Kivshina party and but Kivshina faction cannot stay in this group anymore, because this group does not want and cannot provide reforms, reset the state and reset our life. Meanwhile, another important player within the ruling coalition, the Samopomich party, on Thursday they claimed about quitting the coalition. According to their statement, Samopomish decided to stay out of the alliance due to alleged secret deal between state's high authorities from the one side and oligarch-controlled parliamentary deputies from the other. For the moment, the rupture of parliamentary coalition comes laden with blurry perspectives upon the future of Ukrainian government. We invited the guest to our studio today, Mikola Davidyuk, political expert. Nice to meet you here. Hi. And uh, on your point of view, why, why this voting was unexpected or expected voting happened? Because the parliament and the president was for resignation of cabinet of ministers. Why it happened? I think we really come to a huge uh, political conflict and uh, political problems in Ukrainian government and also in Ukrainian society. Uh, the people really don't want to see this uh, government, some people, but uh, government can hear them and uh, we have such a problem from which we can get out uh, because uh, a lot of politicians do something make some good profits not only for ukrainian people they do some good profits only for themselves for politician class for oligarchs their children 
but not thinking a lot about the reforms, good education, good medicine, about uh, new jobs, and uh, this is a problem. And we need to change something. I'm not talking about uh, some names of ministers or prime minister. I'm talking about changing of political system. That point uh, of Abramovich said that we need to change the system. But in this situation, when our country is, uh, to be honest, in the crisis, and we are waiting for some serious reforms, which can, can be not so popular for our society, should the government, president and parliament listen to the point of view of people in this situation? Of course, they need to hear the people because they, uh, they're working for the people, need to work for the people, but not all the time do it. And uh, they need to hear our Western partners. We need to hear our partners globally because uh, Ukraine government is not very, very independent. They need to do something for the people and uh, need to work with international organizations in different countries. We, now we are in the process of war a war against pro-Russian terrorists and separatists, and uh, we are in process of war against corruption. So we need to have support of uh, Western uh, organizations in the countries and the support of our people. And if people don't have so, so, so much power to support this government and thinking about new one. And there are a lot of talks about agreement between President and Prime Minister on the eve of uh, reports of government in Verkhovna Rada. Uh, well, if it is so, what kind of agreement they had? On your point of view? It depends on them. Uh -huh. The people don't think about an agreement. They think about good result. They think about reforms, job places. Uh, but Ukrainian politicians are only fighting among themselves, about parliamentary parties, about, uh, among the ministers, uh, but they don't think about good result. They don't try to make some reforms, don't try to fight uh, against corruption, and so on, so on. And uh, they only thinking about fighting themselves. It's not a good point of view because uh, people waiting two years for reforms. They waiting for good results in our country, for changing all politician system. But uh, they waiting but can get it. That is my main question. They are waiting for good results, but uh, very often good results go after the unpopular decisions which uh, should be made by government, by president, by Verkhovna Rada. And in this case, people cannot support such uh, decisions. So, yeah, they can uh, support government, for example, for one year, for two years, sometimes for more time, but they need to believe that government do some good things, not wrong, not uh, some benefits for themselves, but good things for the people. When they, uh, people uh, saw how work Ukrainian uh, policy, new policemen, they said it's good. So it's good point. So what is the next? And the government said it's all. It's sure. all for two years. And the people said that it's not enough for two years. You need to present something more. You need to uh, make something more. But the government said, we, we don't have any new cases. Yeah, they are talking about, uh, a lot talking about uh, reforms. They are talking about uh, some uh, modernization of economy, of investments. But uh, the people can uh, see it. So is, is, this is a problem. All right. And uh, should Ukraine expect for new parliament elections in this case? Because we see the really serious split in coalition and uh, between the political forces. If, uh, they, can, uh, if they cannot uh, gather the majority in parliament, so uh, uh, new elections should be. I think I think a uh, new election campaign to Ukrainian parliament is not a good idea. It's not a good idea and it's very, very useful uh, for pro-Putin and pro-Kremlin uh, political projects inside Ukraine. They're waiting for this uh, election. And we need to do something uh, to support Ukrainian parliamentarians and uh, to ask them to organize uh, and to make new coalition, new pro-European coalition, and uh, to make a new government. So uh, the but, decision but, of... But because new election campaign is a half of year of talking about reforms, but nothing to do. So we need to do something today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, but not talking about it. But election campaign is just a talking, and nobody do something. So, but Kivshina party and faction, uh, and some Pomich faction, they uh, left the coalition. And uh, can we say that they place for Putin's forces? I think, uh, oh, I understand why but Kishina leave coalition, but it's a very big question for me why some Pomich leave it. 
So they need to support the coalition to reform, to update coalition, to update uh, government, and to work every day to work because uh, people think that uh, some is uh, really smart guys, smart party, and they need to, to do something, but not to leave coalition and they start to talk. But of course we understand why, the, but Kishina leave the coalition. We know, everybody knows that uh, Timoshenko want to be a prime minister and she has such a purpose and uh, it's not a new ambition. It's a really old ambition to be a prime minister, to be a president and some, so, sometimes to be somebody. And the uh, parliamentarian, it's not enough for her, so she started her uh, prime minister campaign. Maybe presidential, we don't know.